Hello everyone and welcome back to my let's play of Corpse Party If. And from here we're just going to confront Sayako in the haunted version of what I'm guessing is the Kendo building. And after that I guess try to escape. I love how they just completely forgot about the original sad sap song that they had in the game for this new one ever since we played that piano. Oh no, your job as her teacher is to teach her, not to make sure she doesn't die in haunted schools. Oh, I would have never guessed, Sayako. Thank you for telling me you've already died. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you, but before I do so, let me throw the key that's the only way you can escape from the school to you. That'll show you. I don't know. Oh, look at that. She's hulking out. Oh, now she's the angry bluish purple Hulk. That's even stronger than the green Hulk, or maybe even more emo. Ayumi's new power. Turn the. Uh, whatever that name was, Japanese katana into the demon slaying blade. Yeah, you know Sayako's a badass because she has three spirits going around her and one red one that has red hands. And you can't see her face. She doesn't even have to look at you to fight you. It's the mark of a true badass. At this point, you don't really have any abilities, you just have to keep on hitting either auto or just fight attack, fight attack. And it's not even nearly as hard of a fight as the fight against Sachiko was in her build. Oh, my friends! You all return to me to give me your power! I feel so honored. Even the young girl that I only knew for a couple hours before she died. And his heart grew three sizes that day. Here I have a stronger attack, it's uh, called Spiritual Energy, and I can also heal myself for a little bit with a heal incantation for 2 MP. right there. I was debating whether or not I should use the stronger attack or save my MP to heal myself. And I, I always tend to think in RPGs that a good defense is always the best offense. Oh, 
this fight should be ending soon. There we go. And just like Sachiko and rebuild her clothes, magically change back to a school uniform. But then she says thank you. Which is kind of weird. Oh, she crossed over alone because she's the only one who attacked me. If you guys would have tried to fight, I would have gladly slain you with my awesome demon slaying sword. See, I like how Yoshiki was strong enough to defeat the strongest spirit in the school that was strong enough to basically be the next Sachiko and rule all the hatred in this school. But whenever a group of them attack him, he can't take them alone. Yeah, he just killed himself. I'm pretty sure he knows what he did. Oh no, he didn't kill himself. He just turned himself into a spiked back to uh, a hunchback. See, look. And he's happy about it, too. wonder if he's going to scream, SANCTUARY! Yeah, apparently, the only way to not become an angry spirit in the school is to defeat the uh, previous master spirit, I guess. I don't know any other term for it. And then kill yourself before the other spirits can kill you, so that way you can die happy. Oh, look, it's our old friend. He's seething with anger because he couldn't catch us before. Look how he's pounding the ground. It's like a strange mode of propulsion for him, too. He's not crawling towards us. He's just pounding the ground and slowly sliding towards us. See, it's a lot easier to get away from him this time than it is the first time. Because, uh, whenever the colors change, all you have to do is just hit the arrow keys in a big circle, like, uh, left up, right down, left, and then you'll keep on continuing left. Plus, he, he's nice enough to stop moving for you while you're trying to figure that out. Oh no, what happened to the rope? Yeah, luckily for us, there's a plot device that lets us walk across an invisible bridge being led by blue spirits that lets us get away while our 
Fred, the anatomical model, just kind of pounds the floor in anger. And then he magically teleports to a door across the broken floorway. I kind of combined the words floor and pathway and hallway all into the same word with floorway. Yeah, the, the spirits show you where to go by blocking off your path. See, I think the anatomical model's kind of glitched here because as you're running away from him at this point, he kind of just teleports around like a psychopath. See, and this point down here is a little difficult. Because he, he magically teleports from behind you to in front of you. Another teleport. He, he he's like electrical beast. When he he's playing Mario sixty four. Teleport. See, I, I think they did this here because they forgot to explain to Menomina that you're not supposed to turn around while you're in the light, otherwise you disintegrate. Because there is no real explanation to why she knows this and why she saw that. So here, you just gotta remember, just keep on hitting up. No other directions, just up, and then you'll beat the game. And depending on if... You got the old charm, spoke to Yuka, and then gave it back to Satoshi. We'll determine your ending. And then Ayumi, the girl who was helping us this whole way through, is now trying to get us turn it to turn around and die. <gasps> A giant hand that's bigger than my head! That's comforting for some reason. At least now I know my teacher's dead and I can go home happy. She shows, like, no sadness at all that he's dead. She just sees his, like, kind of opaque hand. And it's like, oh, okay, he's dead. I'm happy. I can go home alone. No matter how many times I hear this song, I always enjoy this song. It just it fits so well. And in case they see this video, I would like to thank Zeke the Geek and Enigma Apia, I'm hoping I'm saying her name correctly, for translating this game and getting it all working 
and releasing it for those of us that can't speak Japanese. Uh, you both did a fantastic job, and I'm looking forward to Let's Playing the, uh, whatever you guys put out next. But that's it for Corpse Party If. I hope anyone that watched all the way through enjoyed the ride, and I'll see you all next time.